is there data behind parabiosis in and itself that suggests that might be a legitimate approach to this? Because now you're not dealing with specific targets per se. You're dealing with creating a new profile of proteomics for an individual. In mice, we do parabiosis. We don't do it in humans. So parabiosis is really where you join the circulation of two different animals. And it was actually invented more than a hundred years ago. But what we found and many others in the field now is that indeed there are factors in the circulation that can change the aging process. Blood from young mice and specifically the plasma. Yeah. We can rejuvenate many different cell types. Different cells respond in different ways. Some benefit much more, specifically the stem cells of the immune system. Liver cells also are very responsive. Blood vessel cells, endothelial cells. But then the big question is, how does that translate to humans, right? 